How we see glasses is changing. And far from the negative association which existed in the past, eyewear is now seen as a real positive, as an accessory and as a technology. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question of why more people don't choose surgery, more people don't choose contact lenses, and why eyewear is here to stay. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And I know from experience that when you get the perfect pair of glasses, you'll never look back. So in today's video, I'm going to be addressing three key points from a technology, a style, and a health perspective, and also addressing some of the disadvantages to contact lenses and laser surgery, and why glasses are simply better. And let's start by talking about the pros and cons of contact lenses. Obviously, the positive element of contact lenses is the freedom from needing to wear glasses. At least that's how it used to be seen. I've been doing this job over a decade now. I remember when I first started, a lot of people really hated wearing glasses. So contact lenses were seen as a relief from that burden. But of course, there are side effects to contact lenses, as if you're a contact lens wearer, you will know. First of all, you have the nasty element of having to take them out and put them back in. I can't deal with that. I kind of have a phobia of touching eyes, so that is something that I could never do and lots of people can never do. You also have the hygiene element of the risk of eye infection. It's definitely greater if you do wear contact lenses. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, contact lenses do restrict oxygen supply to the eyes, which can actually have a detrimental effect on our vision. But the biggest reason to not wear contact lenses for me is what we call residual prescription. So when you have a contact lens fitted, there's always a compromise between your true prescription, the exact focus of your eye, and what can actually be made in a contact lens that's designed to fit comfortably onto your eye. Maybe most of your prescription is corrected, but a little bit isn't. And when I make a pair of glasses for someone, my aim is to make their vision perfect. And it's that extra 10% or 20% where glasses just make things 4K compared to maybe HD with contact lenses. I think that's a really good analogy because we all know that with our phones, with our computers, with our TVs, we want the best resolution possible. So why would you not want to experience life in the best resolution possible? And then of course we have surgery. 10 to 20 years ago, surgery was all the rage. And I think it was kind of predicted that glasses would just die out because why would anyone wear glasses when you could have surgery to eliminate your need for them? But surgery has its disadvantages as well. For one, you are going to permanently, potentially, interrupt the tear film. And the tear film on your eye has actually a big part to play in the focus of your eyes. And by damaging that, as well as potentially scarring within your eye, most people who have some kind of surgery on their eyes experience more glare, light sensitivity, and struggle, for example, driving in the dark, or they struggle with their vision in nighttime situations. But then of course, just like with the contact lenses, we also have the issue of residual prescription. Laser surgery will almost never correct your vision perfectly. Of course, we're gonna get the person in the comments who's gonna say, I had laser surgery, it was the best thing I ever did, I'm so glad that I don't need glasses anymore. If that's you, great, awesome. If you're happy, amazing. I'm happy for you, honestly. Statistically, those things that I described for most people, they will be an issue. So that of course brings us to the present day and glasses are more popular than ever before. How many celebrities do you know who are both wealthy and successful enough to not have to wear glasses, but choose to anyway? And in a world where we all want to express ourselves, where we all want to be an individual, glasses are a way for us to be more individual and more unique than ever before. For example, the frames that I'm wearing are super special. These are created by Luca de Stael in Paris. They're produced from pure leather. I just love to wear them. They're so soft and comfortable to wear. They're different, they're a bit quirky. They're interesting, they're a talking point, they're a conversation starter. And I think people are now realizing all these positive effects of eyewear, how it can really make you feel better about yourself. But it doesn't just end with the frames, which are obviously a kind of style accessory nowadays. And I would argue that the lenses are the true reason why glasses are such an amazing thing. In this pair, I have a brown tint with jade flash coating, which has this kind of greenish reflection to it. The benefits of this tint and coating combination are that I feel slightly shielded from the world. I feel like I've got a protective layer between me and the rest of the world. And I also feel that everything is just more comfortable to see. Not just because of the tint, of course, but also because these prescription lenses give me the best vision possible. 
I am truly seeing the world in 4K, which is an amazing sensation. Part of that, by the way, is the smart life technology that are built into these. So smart life technology is the most advanced lens design in the world from Zeiss in Germany. Rather than just correcting your glasses, which I think a lot of people think of as what glasses are gonna do, these smart life lenses with the tint combination that I've described make everything better than natural. It's not just the tint, it's also the focus of the lenses because these are actually optimized for digital devices. As I go through my day, I'm constantly using my phone, laptop, computer, all these kind of digital screens which we're all surrounded by. And our eyes are not naturally designed to deal with those things. By having glasses which actually enhance our vision on digital devices, these make me better than natural. Supernatural. Supernatural is probably not the best way to put it, but better than natural. For example, we can take it a step further. So the Cartier glasses that I have here to show you have something called Blue and Beyond technology. What that does is it adjusts from a similar kind of tint that you just saw in my Luca Distel pair to a full sunglass lens in bright sunlight. So when exposed to UV, these lenses will fully darken to a full sunglass shade. And the advantage of that is that as we're going about our day-to-day -day life, the lenses will adapt for us to manage the ambient light conditions. So rather than our eyes having to squint and feeling uncomfortable as we step out into the sun, the glasses are just gonna automatically do that for us. And again, that's an enhancement to your natural vision. Within like 30 seconds of exposure to UV, these have become full sunglasses. And within a couple of minutes, they'll fade back to a clear lens when we step back inside and there's no UV around. Obviously, these are beautiful Cartier frames and they're a true jewelry accessory. Finished in 23 karat gold, they're a stunning piece of eyewear. But the lenses, the blue and beyond lenses as they're called, take the eyewear to the next level. And these kind of glasses are actually sold by Cartier non-prescription. Plenty of people are wearing eyewear like this without needing prescription glasses. When you realize that, that really does change your mindset on eyewear. People who don't need glasses more than ever before are wearing them with enhancements like this to improve their everyday life. The best example I could give you from my own personal experience is this sweet violet tint which when I'm not in work, I love to wear. I so look forward to actually putting these glasses on because when I wear them, everything is so much more mellow. It's so much more relaxed and chilled. It makes everything look really clean and natural as well. The cool thing with the purple tint, you would expect that it would make things look really purple and it doesn't. All it does is make the whites more pure white, takes away that kind of yellow edge that a lot of things have, makes things look cleaner and newer. And I love that sensation. This is something that, again, even if I didn't wear glasses, I would look forward to wearing these frames. Speaking of lenses that can really enhance your vision, I've brought three examples, three amazing examples of new tints which we've brought out just this year, or at least samples that we've created based on existing technology, which is something called Photofusion Flash. And it's a perfect example of how the lenses can be truly crafted and customized for you. So based on the frame that you choose, you can select from a load of different colors. You have blue, green, gray, and brown tints, and then pink, blue, green, silver, and gold coatings. And by combining those together, you can create some amazing effects. For example, this is blue and ruby. So when it's against my eye, you'll see a slight blue tint with a ruby flash coating. And watch what happens as this lens starts to darken in the sun, which it will do incredibly quickly, insanely quickly. These are so fast to change. This is Photofusion X technology, which is the latest game-changing technology from Zeiss. It's 80% faster to change than the previous generation of photochromic lenses. I mean, you can probably already tell how much quicker this is compared to the Blue and Beyond technology from Cartier. But in the sun, this will now change to a beautiful blue tint with a more prominent pink reflective finish. That means that fitting that to your glasses is going to give you a really cool look but also give you a really natural and beautiful blue tint to look through. Not quite as good as a sweet violet, but not far off either. I love blue tints. Next up, I have sapphire on a brown photofusion lens. So this is how it looks inside with that sapphire color, very similar to the blue and beyond that I showed you. But watch what happens when we expose it to UV light. Now we have a stunning natural brown lens finished with that sapphire coating. 
looks absolutely to die for. Again, with the right frame, that could look epic. And it's all about pairing these color combinations with the frame that you've selected. So for example, if you had a frame with blue accents on, I'd probably recommend something like the sapphire coating. Similarly, if you have a different color frame, maybe with slight hints of red or pink, the ruby is a great finishing touch. And finally, I have probably my favorite color combination, at least for Cartier glasses, which is Pioneer and Amber. This produces an elegant and royal green and gold combination, which is just super premium. It just looks sensational. Combine this with a gold frame like that Cartier for an amazing effect. I think better than the original Blue and Beyond that's in there because the gold really ties in with the gold coloration of the frame. So yeah, there you have it. You can hopefully now see how eyewear is so much more custom than ever before. That's really what I wanted to impress upon you with new tint technologies, photochromic technologies, and more unique and beautiful frames than ever before, eyewear is truly a way for you to express yourself. And that, I think, is why it's a more popular choice than ever before. There are so many people out there who can easily afford to have laser surgery, they can easily manage to order contact lenses, but they choose glasses and they choose to build an eyewear wardrobe. And if that's something you're looking to do, I'd love to help. Our details are in the description, but if you have any specific questions about anything that I've covered in this video, from tints to blue and beyond to Cartier, anything to do with glasses, leave those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.